This is the Lazy Kate for the electric eel wheel bobbins. For those of you who aren't familiar with Lazy Kates, they typically hold two or three bobbins like this, and then you'll take these bobbins, which are filled with single strand yarn from a spinning wheel, and you'll run them through the spinning wheel again, and the spinning wheel will do what is called plying the yarn together, and you'll end up with a thicker piece of yarn that has formed from multiple single strands. A lot of thought went into this Lazy Kate design. One of the things we wanted to make sure is that it's very light and easy to transport, but that also means that it might move around too much when you actually have the bobbins in there and are spinning with it. So we made that little cradle in there to hold a bag of rice, and then it's very easy to install a bobbin, like so. And at this point, it's a free rotating bobbin because we didn't put any of the uh, felt washers in place. And the reason that comes with these felt washers is you can put one in there and that'll give it a little bit of tension for spinning, or you can put one on each side like this, and that'll add a lot of tension uh, to the bobbin when you're spinning. So it's very customizable to how you like to spin. Here are the parts that will come with the Lazy Kate. The rest of this video will show you the actual assembly process. Now the assembly is very easy. No tools are required. You basically just install these six screws with the six spacers here, and then optionally use the felt washers depending on how much tension you want. So I'll go through the process. You just start putting the screws through and you screw them onto the uh, spacers like so. So you really don't need these very tight. They tend not to come loose while you're uh, spinning off of the bobbins. So um, hand tight is fine. If you're really paranoid about um, them coming off or something, you can uh, tighten them with a screwdriver, but I tend not to. So I wouldn't really um, worry about that. And we've just got to do the other side. So it should just take a few minutes um, to put this together. You know, it's just pretty simple, like you're seeing me do it. And here's the last screw. Then the last step is just to slot the pieces of wood together like this you'll know that they're fully inserted when the pieces are flush on the bottom, like so. Sometimes the first time you assemble it, it's a little tricky. So I sometimes will, instead of just doing them one at a time, I'll try to get them both sort of started a little bit. And then once they're past the uh, first little lip and they're not getting hooked up anymore, uh, you can put both pieces um, on a flat table, or you can put um, these bottom pieces on a flat table like this and just sort of push the whole side into place like so. Um, but after you've done it a few times, it's like really easy and you'll find yourselves, you know, maybe taking it apart to make travel easier. That's pretty much all there is to it.